So guys, uh, Young Justice, um, still flying high in my opinion, guys. <laughs> um, once again, I apologize for not uh, giving a recap of last week's episode, which was really good. Um, bottom line, it guys, last week's episode um, was just, you had the Flash family. Pretty much that's all I can just say. It was, it was focused on the Flash family. Very good episode indeed. So this week's episode was very interesting because A, we got the return of Artemis. Yeah, she had came back in this episode, which was entitled uh, Depths. Um, Artemis had returned uh, to join the team on a mission um, to defend it. Like, um, what were they defending? A satellite launch? Um, and, you know, we, 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 we saw that, you know, Wally was really, really against it. You know, he, he didn't like it, you know, and, you know, Artemis was like, you know, last week I just saw you get back into your yellow, yellow and red. And he was like, that was just an emergency, you know, and she's like, well, you know, and then, you know, Wally went on like Nightwing shouldn't need you and things like that. Um, but, you know, it was really good to see Artemis back. It was really good to see her, um, back in the fold and everybody, when they saw it, when she came back into the cave, everybody was really like, Artemis is good to see you. And, you know, um, you know, everybody really enjoyed what they was getting to see her. And, uh, they, once they split up into a group, you know, for the mission, that's when we started to see some some things that were going on that were really interesting, especially between Connor and McGann, um, especially how he really was getting on her about, you know, how she's abusing her powers now, like especially her telepathic powers, like she's she's just going into people's heads and leaving them pretty much common toast and things like that, you know, without, you know, any kind of regrets, leaving them in like a vegetated state. And then even talking about, you know, um, even talking about, you know, what, she, what she did to him, like, you know, for, so her, so like, uh, what was it? I think something about not, not remembering certain things. So it was like, Whoa, okay. Yeah. And I even said that myself. I was like, I said that myself guys, like, I think our, uh, Megan is going to start abusing that ability now a lot. And I kind of, my fear actually came true. Um, the site that they were pr protecting was Carol Ferris's, uh, um, communication satellite, uh, pretty much to probably pretty much strengthen a relationship between earth and Mars. Now you got to remember is that most of the justice league, many of the powerhouse members of the justice league are off world now. So the gang has to put up a front that they're still around. So Megan was actually disguised as Martian and Connor was up in the air like Superman. They couldn't see him, but he was in a costume and, you know, he didn't like it. Um, when they are protecting the satellite, this is where it really gets interesting. We know that Black Manta uh, sends Aqualad and his men to destroy it. Now, we all are like, oh, why? Why Aqualad? Why are you doing this? No. Um, so it's really interesting uh, to see. And when they confront it, you know, Lagoon Boy really starts getting a little bit overzealous himself. Like, you know, he's like, you know, I don't need uh, Soup Connor's help and things like that. You can see some animosity between them. And so he he takes he he uh, he takes the assault to to uh, Black Manta's troops by himself while when he's supposed to just be patrolling. And you got Nightwing saying, you know, basically stay on watch. And he's like, I can't hear you, static. And he's like, there's no static in telepathic communication, which is really funny. So you got Nightwing and Artemis dealing with a ground assault. And um, McGann jumps in to go help uh, Loon Boy while Connor is manually controlling the ship. And um, later on, that's where pretty much... Uh, we pretty much, we have a fight again and Aqualad comes up and is like, I'll handle this myself. 
and it was kind of like an eerie sight because he see him just coming up out of the water and then uh, Artemis is like um, Calder you don't have to do this and you know he he was like I must and he just it was just he started to he turned the water into a dragon and stuff it was crazy um, and they started to fight and then all of a sudden one led to another and um, they failed to destroy you know the ship but unfortunately we thought we saw Artemis be stabbed by Aqualad and then he, his last words welcome back and then yeah you guys notice I didn't go right into the first scene because the first scene is supposed to take place is the future and we see uh, Robin, um, I'm not Robin, Dick, Nightwing actually giving Artemis CPR, like one, two, three, Connor comes down, I don't hear a heartbeat, uh, and all of a sudden, she was like, he's, she's dead, uh, however, the rocket did explode, Ferris's, um, it, the, the, the commute satellite did explode, uh, not from, uh, Aqualad or anybody like that, but I'll get into that later. So March 20th comes and we see Aqualad reporting to his father about and pardon him, Black Manta, and it's revealed that he had planted the bomb that destroyed the rocket in order to test whether his son would take credit for the victory or not. Um, and at, at Mount Justice, the team... Uh, is mourning the death of their friend. All of a sudden, we we see Nightwing. We see Connor talking to Malcolm, and and he's like, "We find Lagoon Boy because Lagoon Boy got kit, kit captured." And um, we see Nightwing in an undisclosed area, and and he's like, "Wally," and no, and Aqualad comes out, and it's like, "Oh snap." And next, you know, Wally comes out, and then we see a female with her hood on, and then it's Artemis. It was shown that Aqualad didn't cut her; he didn't stab her. He actually made the the water knife that he made go around her torso, and his defection from the team and killing her was all part of a ruse. It's been all a plan since the get go that Aqualad has never joint the you know betrayed the team or anything it was all a ruse he's been deep 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 undercover and uh it's it's more to uh to ensure they learn who is more about the light and who's their partner and everything in it so for all those of us i said it i had my suspicions as well that maybe he's deep undercover and for all those who are like, oh, the only black character on it, and and now he's a traitor. Well, fortunately, guys, he did. He's not the traitor. He's at, he's just deep, deep undercover. Where he has he had to do those make those decisions just to make it look his his defection was legit. Um, and then uh, Artemis goes with him, basically. So she puts on this pendant that um, Zatanna made from that only. Only the four that were there can see what she really looks like. Everybody else will see her as something else. And they still don't like it, but they know they have to do what they have to do to keep it. But um, this was good. This was an excellent episode. Um, I don't know when the next episodes are coming, but uh, episode 33 was really good. The last two episodes of the show have been really good. Um, very good indeed. Um it's been it was it was fun uh depths was good it just had a lot of suspense and just like oh my god you know i no they didn't kill artemis off and you know basically but now the question is is like are they gonna you know what happens if the team finds out that artemis is alive you know will how how will nightwing actually say that like you know we i had to keep it from all you guys and things like that. That's going to be kind of the question that I find. And you know how Superboy is kind of a peeping Tom. You know, he finds out stuff. You know, he'll flip out and, like he did earlier most of the time. Um, so, but it was it was good nonetheless. It was it, this was a really good episode. 
that I really enjoyed. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, the look on Aqualad's face when it when he supposedly stabbed Artemis was like was classic. It was like the classic look of like, so you're back, and then stab, welcome home. Like he just looked at her like like beneath her like, welcome home, and. We actually saw how uh, Artemis, she splatted blood on her to make it look like that's where the entry wound was. And I don't know how she was able to keep her heartbeat down from Superboy, but she did. And it was it was, it was was good. It was really good. Um, still, like I said, still stellar episode, guys. Very good indeed. Uh, you guys tell me what you thought about episode 33, Depths. Um, and can't wait to the next when they start showing more of the episode. Like I said, the only problem I have with um, Invasion is the fact that it's a sh it's a short season. It's only like twenty episodes. But let's just face it, they've been they've been killing it. They've been killing it very much, and I've been enjoying it. And you guys tell me what you think, and I.